This is how I live. I live. This is what I love. Oh. This is all the things that my dreams have been made of. Welcome to my life. This is what I love. This is what the soundtrack to my life is made of. Music love life. Crystal Jordan, be honest and myself, Mr. Kevin, we are Music Love Life. Welcome you're just to gonna, another episode. You're just going to do the Mr. Kevin thing until What's it's What's wrong like, with Mr.? No, nothing. It's just weird, but man. You just, and then you tried to send us proof that it wasn't weird by showing us a video of Maya Angelou correcting a 16-year-old that 16. called her Maya. But we are not 16. And Y'all acted like you had, were unfamiliar with the entire concept. Of we being are. Mister? Of, of, uh, we are not slaves. You are not the master. I've seen slaves call people Mister. But I, didn't, I didn't take it that way. I'm just saying. What, what other? What? What other time have you called a this grown is, man? This is interesting. Is slaves? I'm just saying. What other time have you seen a grown man call another grown man Mister with his first name? Um, when you the only time I've seen somebody call somebody else mistress is when they need something or they believe that they need something from that person so but, they, it's but, the but, fake respect but with the first name though because it would be Mr. Mr. oh yeah no no you're right Jones that, but not Mr. Jones Mr. C. my grandfather a, used to do it with his friends if it's a really really old person really yeah. old like if Miss Sarah like I said before if it's Miss Sarah or um, <laughs> say her name like that Mr. Cecil something like that that's about the only time ever. I've always called people with their last names. If I if they were older and I was giving them respect, right. I've never mm-hmm. just been like, you know. And I do I do think that everyone knows a Miss Sarah. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I I but that's special. I think it's something very special. <laughs> well, Kevin, something very. Don't even sound Sarah, or yes. is that just the the country accent? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. I sound well, she like a says whole her different name, name. Is that, or she's at Beatrice instead of Beatrice. Well, my mm. well, my well, my grand my great grandmother's name was Miss Katie. They called her your well, great grandmother. Grandma mm. Katie. Is she is she kind of like your grandmother? No. Okay. Because no, we all all. know how your grandma <laughs> lit it up. Not at all. Your grandma was lit. <laughs> my grandmother was lit. <laughs> and Vivian was no joke. No, Ms. Katie v- was very different than Vivian. Oh, okay. Very very different. Okay. Very, very different. But yeah, hey, I mean, you know, hey, I'm here for it. I'm just saying that explanation did not suffice, sir. So hey, nobody's even commented on it. So maybe somebody should comment back and let us know how the Mr. Kevin thing is working for you guys. <laughs> Are you all gonna re- respond to him as Mr. Yeah. Kevin? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's just feeling his dad role now. He likes yeah. being a dad. Going to the school and hearing Mr. Kevin. I get it. That's okay. What have you started doing differently? Like, what activities do you spend your time that you probably wouldn't have done before? Have you noticed anything change like that? Um, I don't know. I did yard work. I mean, you do, you did yard you know? work before, though, right? Yeah. yeah. I just find myself doing a lot more for like, pleasure. You know, when you start doing yard work for pleasure, st- yeah. Like, I well, I'm, I won't wash. necessarily say well gardening. You're washed. I did. <laughs> when you I start, am, dude. When, I am. <laughs> when you start doing yard work for pleasure, you're, you're washed. Well, I don't know what women do like that. Is there anything that y'all do? That's I mean, like yard work? we just no. Either yard work. I'm no. building something. I'm gardening. I'm painting. I'm like it's always something. Yeah, I don't know about that. It's always something. You you be doing stuff around the house, but I have to though. Do you have to? Uh, you do find you- yourself. Repairing drywall and all sorts of like random ass. I'm talking about those guys who like love their lawn. Uh, I like though. I would like one of those next time. But a guy who loves his lawn, or maybe just has a lot of money to pay for it. That works too. That's not ex- at all the same thing. I know. I, I changed in mid. I changed. <laughs> yeah, I'm like you don't have to have a lot I, of. Those aren't the same guy. Hey, <laughs> I changed I'm in mid sentence. I was like, never mind. I just I go rent you a house from somebody, man. Like you ain't gonna do all that. Just no. I just. I. I mean, the landscaping is very beautiful, but you. You know. Uh, yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes people don't do it to the fullest extent. So it's good to just have someone that can pay someone else to come in there and really decorate the lawn. You know. I would think by now, though, has, has the stock market hasn't shifted in crystal stock? What do you mean? Because, I mean, this this is like, it's it's been weeks now. How, how, many, how long has it been? What are you talking Since about? Since you redid your, your, your interior. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's something totally different. How, how long has it been? It, it, uh, since the actual procedure, um, 
We may be looking at about a half a year now. Oh, six shit, man. Months? We need to go and sit, yeah. stick you a time in the yard and start getting your money back. <laughs> right. Like, okay, so, and, and we're saying it's still, we're still saying it has been unbreached. It's unbreached. Okay. Yeah. It's unbreached. But I, I mean, but before that, it it, it, it was, we went unused. into solid unused. It was yes. unused and now it's and unbreached. The, uh, yes. well, I'm glad you did your renovation. But, you I know, did. That's the way you're supposed says. to do it. Okay. You do it Don't before, put you, your sign in before the window you start and, to show it. You okay, but take I, care of the thing, the renovation and the... You know, this is a little different, but you know how those promise the promise keepers that like the, the school kid, the girls that like promise they're not gonna have sex, right. but then they found out they were all sucking dick and oh. having anal sex. Have you been having anal sex at least? <laughs> <laughs> and that's, I mean, that's that's in, in your case, it actually would be okay because you're not using the goods. Not that the, the fair point. Fair point. Right. You right. see what I'm saying? Are you a promise keeper? Is I that am, what you're is that what's going on here? I is is that like trying to not put miles on your car by <laughs> driving backwards? <laughs> no, it's not the same thing. Because <laughs> I would hate to have to go somewhere backwards. You remember what they did on Ferris Bueller? I do, but some women find pleasure in anal sex. So You're I, really on this tangent today. I'm aren't just you? saying before the show, you're some just some women come from anal sex. Okay. I do. I have heard that before, but You've I heard not, it? I am not having any type of any type of, of um, no oral, no anal, no nothing. No. Like Bill Clinton, I have not had sexual relations. <laughs> like Bill Clinton, I don't <laughs> I'm know what you want to say. Like Bill said, Clinton, how he said that is just so funny. I have not had. Yeah, but sex. he was lying. I know, but I'm not. Okay. I'm just saying I haven't done any of the things that he was talking about doing. No, I no oral giving or taking. I, but you know, I I haven't even been in the in the place. Like no you one's even masturbated. Well, I. Ha- I stopped doing that. I had that has been happening. What is going on? What's the uh, uh, okay? The, I don't end, know. the end result is not. I don't know what. I don't know. Anymore. I don't know where I'm headed now. <laughs> before, <laughs> before, before I was saying that I want to wait until I was in a relationship, but at this point, um, I don't. I just don't know. I don't know where we're going. I Man, don't know just... because I don't. I don't. Uh, there's a lot of response when you tell guys. You know that this is where, what you're doing. They are they are very quick to. Well, to I, jump I, I off understand forward. you can you yeah. can hold the handrail on your way back in, but you know maybe you don't want to commit full time. You just want to you know put the pussy on Airbnb. No, no. no I mean, that. at this Short point, term. I'm so far gone in that it's got to. Well, see, that's gotta... why guys jump off because like they're, most women who are doing this, they have like this this idea, like this ideology of why they're doing it. So, yeah, I did. So guys are like, "Oh, I can break that," but when you don't have a reason, guys are like, "What the <laughs> fuck?" Like, <laughs> I right. did. Ain't no game for that. I don't. I don't know how to approach this. <laughs> there's no game for that, right? You I know did what I'm initially. If he was now, like a Christian, there's a way to beat that. Well, I am, but I'm just saying. I, I mean, I, not, I mean it wasn't that's not that, why though. you're doing it, though, right? It wasn't that. No, I mean, I was. A Christian before I started doing it. I I really just feel like I I want to make sure at this point the person has to be worth this. So I'm it's almost like new virginity and when you gave when I gave it away the last time, I didn't make the best choice. Your virginity? So, yeah. Okay. It, it wasn't a good choice. So, so now bed. I want to make sure that I make the best choice and so ooh, that's rough. Like I deathbed. Are you going to regret? Let's say I let's may. say that you're on your deathbed next week. I may knock on. You can knock on wood if you want. I I may. It's okay. Many it's people okay. have a vagina that has had multiple owners. It's okay. What? It, it come. Someone else will purchase the new pussy. I guarantee it. When she's gone, I, didn't, I don't. Hmm? Huh? When she's gone, you mean like a <laughs> no, pussy she, transplant? No, like you, like you. Like just, a used car. I'm so confused. Oh. <laughs> I don't get oh. what you're saying. Wow. Someone else will repurchase. Well, no, this is like a Jay. This, this is like a Jay Leno. Tires on it. Hey, this is all right. This is like when Jay Leno customizes, this, like restores a car. Though this is a little different than a used this, car. This I mean, is really honestly, if you get a '57 restored. Chevy, it's Why restored. Hey, women are that's a constantly <laughs> this is as women. That car is like you know. You guys realize they're just having a whole conversation, objectifying. <laughs> Objectifying me, so I'm not objectifying. She buys a new pussy and puts it on her body. How do you? She objectified herself. It's a metaphor. How do you buy a pussy and then say that we're objectifying? I didn't buy a new one. I did reconstruction. It's restored, like Jay Leno's classic car collection. Restored, yes. Those are beautiful cars. Classic. I did not. <laughs> you got a classic, oh classic pussy. That now. is highly offensive. Is but it? it is. Seriously, it is. Yeah, it's we're, we're, vintage. We're moving. This is to the a, we're, fine. We're you moving, can't find these anywhere. We're moving to a very offensive exclusive. Place. I'm done. Let's back up. I'm done. Let's back up. Okay. I want to restore my dick. That'll be that'll be different. I don't know what you could do for a dick because it's different. It's a different thing, right? 
But what if you could? What would you do? How could you enhance a dick? Like I don't, you, I don't know. Is it, is it like you like you power wash it? <laughs> Get some of the crust off of it. Yeah, right? you know. Like, <laughs> just give it a good. Just you know, it's a gives it a good spray. With Something. A, yeah. I don't, I don't know. You guys have that, that's the thing. See, with plastic surgery and all that stuff, you can just guys just have like there's like a menu. You know what I'm saying? With guys, yeah. there's so little stuff that we can do. So it's like well, moving off of that okay. part of the plastic surgery. But I, I, a friend of mine and I were having a conversation, almost a, a heated debate, and he suggested that that women are getting plastic surgery because of themselves and not because of men. And I say that I think that women are women get plastic surgery to be more attractive. To men. Nah. And he said that no, um, women are stupid and they are insecure and they get plastic surgery for themselves. Stupid? What does that have to do with it? Um, he just said it didn't make any sense. He was like, you know, if you, you consider plastic surgery, and I was like, yeah, he was like, has any guy ever told you that you needed to get plastic surgery? And I was has like, he? no. Mm. But I do think that women watch the behavior of men because men pay a lot of attention to women who have had plastic surgery. See there? <sighs> There's the relationship. No. We well, see the behavior. That women want attention? Of course. Who doesn't want attention? Men want attention too. But it's just it's just attention. You do realize that. It's not more wanted. It's just attention. Well, but that's just, that's hard to, that's Like that's I don't value everything I, I want. That's a weird thing. I don't, yeah, I don't, just because I want something doesn't mean I value it. That makes sense. Unless it it's sense to me. classic, vintage. I like, to, can, can, please, Those are the, Mr. Kevin, Mr. Kevin, please. I love the, uh, Mr. Kevin, I'm going to ask the you Jordan one more time. Ones? I'm going to ask you. Jordan <sighs> ones. Classic. Okay. Classic. Okay. But I, I think that women see the attention. It's just like if, if, if men see women give attention to men with a, a, a Maserati. Right. Then they, they think Maserati good. But they don't really want a guy with a Maserati. Roddy. Oh, yes. Yes, we do. No, you don't. I do. You don't want a guy just because he has a Maserati. See, do you? You don't. You names. Give me three details about Maserati. They look amazing. No, no, no. Details. They tend to make a and guy look no, no, amazing. No, no, no. And details. that's why a nigga will sleep in the box <laughs> and buy a Maserati. Um, I, but that, it, that right there. Not how it looks. Tell me something about a Maserati. Can I tell you something? Sure. The cars that I have bought, I have all bought because of how they looked. I knew nothing about the car. Right. Obviously. Right. Like I just, you know, I'm I'm very much a visual person. Okay, like a dude. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> not like a dude. Not like no. a dude. But yeah, I I I bought my car because of how it looked. I don't I don't know. So when I see a Maserati, I like it. I do. I would like a guy with a Maserati. That's not bad. Would you like to have a Maserati? Is that a car that you would get ever? Mm, I don't know if I would get one. But there's some cars that I would not get. But I would like to date someone that drove. Like I think that's the kind of car that someone I would I would like to date should drive. I'm trying to think about that choice to buy a mm. Maserati simply because women like it. I think men do that. You don't think so? Maybe not level-headed, smart, in touch with themselves. Men don't. But mm. I think for a large, a large, I don't think most people are that way. I think most of us are, we're all like a combination of, of intelligent and dumb or, or, or grounded and not grounded. Fair enough. So I'm, I'm I definitely think, 7% stupid. Yeah, so, well, maybe more. But I think that, um, oh, that's bright. So I think that women see men paying attention to bodies and men see women paying attention to money and different things like that. And I think that's how we all are motivated to do things. But I really do, my po I really do think women get plastic surgery because they're trying to become more attractive to men. I don't know what we're judging that on, but I do think that we're trying to become more attractive. No one just gets plastic surgery for their girlfriends. That's stupid. Well, but the, the claim you guys make is you're doing it for yourself because it makes you feel great. And well, it, I was telling him that that may be a little... We want to be so more attractive So that's men. who's lying, men or women? That I think everyone friend? is lying, but <laughs> everyone is lying. No, but, the, the, the claim by most, I'm talking about 95 to 99% yeah. of women is that well, I did it for myself because I want to feel pretty and I... Right, but they're trying to be more attractive. They're trying so they're, to be more attractive. And it's an external we, thing. It's not internal. It is an external thing. You're on record. <laughs> I'm sorry, ladies. He backed me into a corner. I didn't know. You walked... <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it, I mean, no, no one would would argue that. No one would argue this that you're trying no. to become more attractive, right? And that's not 
You're trying First to become all, more attractive. I don't think you understand the amount of women who have been <laughs> who are on record now on Instagram, <laughs> on YouTube, on Twitter, on Facebook, on LinkedIn, name another one, on Bumble, on Dumble, oh, on okay. whatever, we saying that I did this for me because it makes me feel better about myself. But they are also trying to be more attractive. No, I completely agree with you. Yes. This is all external. It's all <laughs> bullshit. But I just want... I want to finally hear a woman say that instead of trying to give us that I whole... I said it. No, I be, said here's it. the problem, though. See, because they give guys hell about saying, you're doing this shit for, for attention. It's no, a double not, standard. We know it's a double standard. No, but they really give guys... Like, this, this is a triggering thing. When you, call, when you tell a woman that she did this because she's trying to get attention, she's like, no, I am not an attention whore. Yeah, but you know, that's... I'm, it, well, I don't think that's, I think all that's fake. a slippery slope. It's always been fake. That's a slippery slope to which, say which attention slope? whore. I think you just, you're triggered by the word. I just think that's a slip. I think everyone likes attention. You're triggered by the word. Partly. True or false? The whore part. So I, if, I don't like If the I word. just said just to get attention, you wouldn't have said anything? Well, I think it's levels of attention. I don't think I don't think everyone is trying to take it to the level that would be considered an attention whore. So I think some women don't feel attractive. If you ever put your butt on Instagram doing anything, any kind of motion, you're an attention whore. I think you definitely are looking for attention. If you put your naked, half naked ass. If you do it consistently, you're an attention whore. Consistently, then you would be an attention whore. So if you do it once, you just. You're not an attention whore. It's just an experience. Maybe you just, you know, wanted to know if you had the ability to get the attention. That Uh, doesn't mean that you're an attention whore. I disagree. I I think that if your ass is ever on Instagram, you're an attention whore. Your ass should not be on Instagram. I may be judging. I I may be old. I may be whatever. Right. I I mean, I I don't think this shit, but I don't think that make... I think that we all go through moments of insecurity. Men, women, children, babies. So I think that sometimes when people are going through a moment of insecurity, they may do something out of the need to kind of deal with that. I don't think that... I don't think one time doing anything one time right. makes you okay. something. Okay, but not one time. We know we're talking. Yeah. About. So if if it's consistent, then okay. But I but I think that women are feeling unpretty, and that's why they have plastic surgery because they want to feel better about themselves, which makes them feel more attractive. I don't know. It's, I'm confused. It feels like that's, that's, yes, because it feels like the women that feel the most attractive take the most pictures. And they're the most active on yeah. your social media So I platforms. think that when, because you notice that when women do have plastic surgery, like I'll pull up a, a, a friend of mine that just got some done, then she will begin posting more pictures, more revealing pictures because she's wanting to show off because she feels better about, right. she feels more attractive. Why is that hard for you? Because you're 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 towing the line now. How so? Because you're saying that it's for it to be a, the purpose of it is to be attractive, but then you're also saying it so that she feels better about herself. Well, I think people don't feel be- feel good about themselves when they're not seen as attractive. I think ugly people still have high self esteem. Like you, no. you still be a great person. And I don't have think that that person sees and... themselves as ugly, though. I don't think anyone says. I am ugly and I and I've and I'm okay with that. I don't yeah, some people are Instagram famous for being ugly. But we don't know that they have the high self esteem though. They could just I mean that's that's I don't know, that's a different You type know how of you argument. compensate in other ways. I don't. I don't. I don't think anyone wants to be looked at as unattractive. Mm. Even somebody like Flavor Flav. He made money off being unattractive. Yeah, but but do you think he would have chosen that? Like, if he could go back and choose his face, he's lived a better life than many. Yeah, but that, but that doesn't mean that that doesn't mean a person has high self esteem, though. As right. we know, like you can live a great life and have really low self esteem. Beetlejuice, what about him? <laughs> That's not a real person. No, it was the little black dude with the teeth in it. Oh, yeah, oh he, was a, he was a real guy. Yeah, he was I on mean, like he was on a, what's the guy's name? The uh, the Howard the, Stern. Howard Stern. He was like a regular on Howard Stern. Yeah, but I mean, he made I think, a little money off being ugly. I, I don't think that, but that doesn't mean that he felt good Welvin? about it. Welvin, what about Welvin? Who's Welvin? <laughs> Welvin the Great. <laughs> well, Welvin, got him, got him. Oh, yeah, that wow. guy was Welvin. He made a little money. He had models and all kind of stuff. But just because you make money off something doesn't mean that you. Feel he didn't start about wearing that. sunglasses and shit. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> he was hosting clubs. He was doing club appearances. Yeah, right. Twenty five hundred to see comes to Welvin. Hey, me. At least he made. It. But I, I still, I don't think that means he has high self esteem. I don't know. He, he was able to. He was able to, even if just for a second. He was able to stun on these motherfuckers for just a second. <laughs> off of me, I would ugly. have to talk. I would love to do a therapy session with him and see if that was if right. he really felt good about it. But I, but my point is, I don't think that I, I can't speak for men. 
that I, I have a sneaky suspicion because I do have a lot of guy friends and none of them want to be seen as unattractive. No, I agree. But I think that more people need to accept the fact this is really an external thing. You you feel I good agree. because other people yeah. accept you. It's validation. That's true. I agree. But all these women saying that it's not, they're lying. Well, it I, is. I don't know it's that external. all of them are no, saying that. No, no, stop. It is. It's <laughs> external validation, women don't which lie. makes you feel good about yourself. No. When women don't lie. And that's that's okay. How dare you say that? But neither do men, though. I mean, we're, we're all the same here. There's always finger pointing, but I, I think it's the same on each side. There's, there are numerous guys that lie about how much money they make, how tall they are, what they've done in the past. I mean, it's foolish. So, I mean, we, everyone lies. That's not I mean, just every, thing. And you know what? The sad thing is everyone wants... To be accepted. E- everyone wants to get into Maserati. Isn't that isn't that American culture? Yeah. You know the the fast car, top down, with the beautiful, woman. rich and famous. You don't want to be in that car with is an that, unattractive woman. Is that the woman. dream? You don't want to be in that car with an unattractive woman. No one is 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 putting an unattractive woman in the passenger seat of that car. Even Welvin just put some sunglasses on. Hey, <laughs> but with the, I got it now. I'm living. That, I'm living. He's the, not covering the part he should have covered though. But the fact that well, I bet you. Welvin would go out and get a woman that was that he believed was unbelievably beautiful, like, like a white woman, mm-hmm. probably with plastic surgery. Right. <laughs> <laughs> there was a there was like a, a a conversation I was having on um, with some with some people at Rolling Out, and they were saying like Kim Kardashian the Car- is supposed to be like the most beautiful woman, you know, as far as social media suggests. Wow, yeah, that's real. Yeah. Who 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 is the, I mean, the this study is just, group? Uh, so it's people on social media. So it's probably younger people. But I mean, what? she's she's a very beautiful woman. Is I don't she? I don't know if. She, I, <laughs> well, no, I mean, the reason why I asked because I remember Kim Kardashian before the fame. But she, was, I, she didn't think she was attractive. She was okay. She was really just mediocrely okay. Like she was she was mediocre, nice looking. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like average to nice looking. But a nice looking regular girl. Right. And then, a, then a lot happened. A lot, a lot happened. And so, I, it's, it's hard to determine what is her and and what was. But the But see, I think that's the point. I think that if you look at her page, um, social media suggests that she is one of the most beautiful, if not the most beautiful, and that is due to a lot of work. Is that based off her followers, or why? It's why? based off her followers and people just loving. I mean, men have mentioned her and saw. I mean, she's seen as definitely an object of beauty. Yeah. And it's She's all very. It's but all you know, very, you know what's um, most. You know what's most beautiful about Kim K. Her heart. I will say she's saved at least one black woman from prison, and she paid another dude like she's she's trying to find him a place to stay as we speak. No, 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 no. This guy. This is the guy who um, in Nashville. Seriously, but he, she's not trying to find a place to stay. Though what I heard was the guy got out of prison off of a technicality. And the the judge basically said, no, there's a technicality. Even though he's a upstate, and when he was in prison, he was supposed to go for 30 years. Oh, he wow. did 20 years, mm-hmm. and they let they released him. What did he do? I don't remember what he did. It was okay. it was something like drugs or something, though. Okay. Um, but he he did 20 of the 30. They let him go, and he, you know his his sentence was done. Basically, he was a good time while he was there. He was mentoring people. Mm-hmm. He was doing all that stuff. He got his degree or his diploma or something mm-hmm. while he was there. He gets out, gets a full time job, a, a stand up guy. Mm-hmm. He's donating time at orphanages or something something like that. Mm-hmm. Like okay. he's doing everything you could do. Right. Still has a criminal background. The judge right. found out that there was a technicality. The reason why he got out and said oh. fuck that, he got to go back. So they oh, came wow. and, so they came and got him. Oh no. Kim K has decided that she's going to pay his mortgage for a year because he had gotten a girlfriend and got married and everything. Mm-hmm. Oh wow. While he was out. Okay. So I think what I heard was he paid his mortgage for a year. She's trying to, but so he can like he applied. Out. Yeah, he applied somewhere, but because of his criminal background, they de- declined. Well, he's in prison right now, right? So wait a minute. No, I he's not so back no, yet. Did he have yeah, a mortgage he already or not? Or he was he, there was not a mortgage yeah, already no, in place. No, he's out because Kim was offering to pay his rent in advance. Okay. To someone who's willing Who that has a place to, and is you know willing right, to okay. rent it to him. Yeah. Right. Okay. So mortgage is different. So rent a lot of times felons are not able to rent. People won't allow felons to rent. I think Ray J. I think Ray J. <laughs> for all of this. Thank you, Ray J. Ray J has made has made it so that that black woman who got out of prison for prison reform that Donald Trump, you know, let happen, and 
this guy here who is looking for a play. I think Ray J. Ray J. You played your part, sir. Ray J. Could die happy and not have to ever on his deathbed. He can like I did it. Well, I think if, if we're gonna you say said that, some good come from this. No, good come. Yes, that's what that was. Some it was good come. That's the come that Kim K. Oh, swallowed was goodness. good come because look at what that come has sprouted into. It just it's a gift that keeps on giving. Thank Pause. you, <laughs> thank you, Ray J. Well, I think if we're gonna thank Pause. Ray J, we no, have to we have to that's thank good Brandon. come. You you wish oh your God. you wish your cum could turn something a woman into something like that. You know what I'm saying? That well, is she that's had a lot before. Black do was magic. That a seed joke. We don't know <laughs> that that that's what made her no, turn. She never did anything like that until after Ray J created but the this monster. Has been, how many people have been in between Ray J and the now? Does that matter? No one would know she was. <laughs> he did catapult her to fame. Absolutely, good cum. But we are, we also have to. I think we should be thanking Brandy. Why? Because Brandy is who introduced her to Ray J. Brandy was a star. Mm, she there. put no work in. She was already. Well, she, she allowed her to be her stylist, and she stole from her. Who <laughs> Kim K did? Yes. <laughs> but that's a that's like Robin Hood. You know that's what I'm not. <laughs> she, that's like Robin Hood. She stole from rich ass Brandy to give this woman her life back. That, but that was years later. It was necessary after Kanye it was, was in the picture. It was necessary. Maybe we should thank him as well. No, Kanye has nothing to do with this. <laughs> I know. doubt. Yeah. I doubt that narcissistic Kanye has. <laughs> it's probably you're right. It may be him. He's so fucking narcissistic that, is, that she has it's a need. driven her to right. try to balance out that ridiculousness. She, she can't help now it. That she I has can, to. I do agree. That may be the case. It may be that. Kanye is so far from who he is, <laughs> is driven narcissistic Kim Kardashian to become a humanitarian. Maybe. I, 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 I applaud it, though. Whatever. I don't give a damn. The shit's working. Yeah. She, she Right now, she she's... Hell, she got a second shot in the air, so, you know, this could be two for two. Yeah. Hey, I, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of her. First Thank one you. went to the president. That was like, shit, half-court shot. What is what Whoa, is whoa, 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 what just happened? Did he actually call Donald Trump the president? He did, he did. Whoa, whole times I, I everywhere. Wish, I wish we had an applause because I think that is <laughs> maturation for our, our whole time. That's growth. <sighs> that is growth. We're proud of you. Because, You're a grower. You know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm embarrassed by it. <laughs> But you know what? You were just being you were just being natural. That's real. We you love you it. Just, you don't have to always put on your whole tep cloak. I look didn't what, have my guard up. No, look what Kim now K I did. Now I knew who I was dealing with. Look what Kim K, K did for you. you. Look what Kim K did for you. She's helping every fucking body. So you all have already got a, one white girl on your <laughs> that is in your good graces. Go ahead and let the president in as well. I'm just happy you said president. He did. Y'all call him Cheeto. Y'all call him all kinds of stuff. It didn't even, it didn't burn natural. or anything. Naturally. It just it came, came out, out naturally. Yeah. Say it's again. because I was trying to be positive about Kim K. That's good. That's, that's we good. Like yeah. that. Mm-hmm. Good for you. You get a star. <laughs> don't don't join with him. And, I'm just, I'm saying. No, you're giving me the patronizing voice. No, it isn't. I'm, no, no, I'm, no, I'm no, proud no. of you. That no is, way. We're just, you're able to have a real rational we're conversation. Proud of we you. are. We are, little mm. Kevin. I mean, Mr. Kevin. <laughs> we are. Seriously, Mr. Kevin, we are. I'll call you Mr. Kevin now. <laughs> Fuck it. That is, that is a good Mr. Kevin. You've earned your Mr. <laughs> um, so go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Continue. Continue praising what were you, what were you the saying? Armenian. Continue saying what? You were talking about You're praising, two shots. You my entire train of thought. You were praising, two shots in the air. Yeah, well, you were praising the Armenian woman that is helping uh, the African Americans. Hey, she did a good deed. All right, next. No, no. Oh, you just said you're so, proud. That's so cute. He's Keep a, going. Yeah, no, he's blessing. And she may be two for two. Yeah. <laughs> she... Forget all the work that the other yeah, African- awesome. See, black people, <laughs> black people ain't never satisfied. Well, now, he, now you're He's black. calling me black. <laughs> this is what is going on. You're three for three. Well, this yeah, is, this, shot in the air. This is your black side because you're oh, talking about uh, anal sex instead. That was oh. that was definitely the white side. Because black people don't have anal sex. Black of people course. don't talk. Black people don't talk about anal sex like that. Ooh, yeah, what yeah. type no. of of no of no no? Is white that? people always talk about fuck them in the ass and all that. That's white, what? white people always say. Did fuck Dave in Chappelle the ass. say that? Or something. I mean, this, <laughs> yeah, I've never heard. Uh, white people only white people always white say people that. always talk about this. this. You can just go outside right have now. You had a, have, you, have you? When is the last time you had a conversation with a white person and about they said that, that like that? I feel like you said that 
Tom Chappelle show. Earlier this week, they said they was, always say it. Earlier this week, it was sitting at the water cooler with a guy named Tom. See, I don't even believe <laughs> did you call that. Mr. Tom. And it was a it was a water cooler. I did. It was just so happening. They doing Mr. So Tom. So you're at work at the, the next water cooler. To a quote unquote water. Like, well, you know, you know Kevin. what? He wasn't even drinking water. <laughs> it was a great drink. Tom. Like you know, Kevin. Now that we're at this water cooler, what this reminds me of? <laughs> mm-hmm. Ain't no sex, <laughs> Mr. Tom. The person, the white person. We know he's like hey, happened you know. to be. Come Tom. on, man. You know what? I, what'd you do this weekend? Ooh, Ooh boy. Got in an anus. Right. <laughs> that is so ridiculous. Come I've, on, had, man. I've had many conversations right. with white people. Right. No one has ever said, <laughs> get him in the ass. Yeah. What? I think black white people, people I always yeah, I was fucking come my on, wife man. in the ass. Post two thousand post two thousand, black folks eat pussy now. Come on, no yes. Yes. It, that that was all a lie. Thank we, you, brother. We have all agreed Let's that was a lie. Let's give a hand clap. Mm, nah, but black people draw a brothers. different line to anal sex. Mm, I don't know about I don't that. Think there's they do. there's there's a specific not because even women even with so you enjoy anal sex. I do, I am not having any sex at all. But so do you enjoy anal I I, do in your not entire have sexual any sex. life? I'm not having any sex. I think that I, I didn't talk about your present state. We're talking about your history. I'm, saying I'm not having any sex. I think oh, okay. it's, it's one of those things. From what? Okay, so here's what I'm saying. I don't know. I've never had sex with a white woman, so I don't. I can't speak to That's what what amazing what white women might say. I've never had sex with anybody but black women. Wow. But what I'm saying Welcome. is though is that I don't think that they say, "Oh, I love it." I, I want to do it all the time. But I think that you know, every now and then, it has it has its place. But I don't think that's a cultural thing. I, I don't think, think so that, either. I think that it has maybe its place. Yeah, like every now and then they want that. I think that every now every, and then, like I, not not often. It's going to be the regular, unless you're a promise keeper. What? <laughs> so I when, think that maybe, so when the, maybe black people have a history of not talking about things. Period. Lying is what they call that. <laughs> no, I think it, it's I called be being secret. Mm-hmm. Secret. Being secretive. I don't eat nothing that bleeds for seven days secret. and don't die. This is the same person that secrets. didn't know there was an after party. Secret? I didn't. And you know what? I was talking to an Omega uh, uh, a few weeks ago, and he told me that people did not invite their girls to the after party. So I feel justified in that. And I am okay with not being invited now because I found out that that was protocol. Did he tell you why? No. No, you don't care why. No, that's not the point. I'm not concerned. No, as a black woman, you and your friends should have sniffed that shit out. (laughs) We didn't. You should have known. We were sleeping like babies. What? You should have known. We were sleeping like babies. There's movies with black women and their friends hiding in the bushes. Oh, and all those are true. All those are true. (laughs) All those movies. All those stereotypical uh, black cult movies Black women make great detectives. I don't know why there aren't more of them in the police force. Yes, you do. <laughs> racism? No, racism. Was that was that what you're saying? Oh, you saying black women? Mm-hmm. You so women? Period. Aren't good to take just black women? Black women. How do you especially know? black women? That is so. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna. Mm-hmm. I thought you, you were talking about just women being detectives. Black women. That's not that a, is ridiculous. They say that's a woman, racist. They say a woman. It's racist intuition. to say that I'm black saying, women why, make good detectives. Why women? Period. I think women know how to find things out, and men leave things oh leave things out. And women pick them up. Women are so. Is bad. that being a good detective, or is that dudes just being lazy? It's just dudes are dumb. <laughs> That's what they're bad liars. That's what right. it is. And so are criminals. Criminals are dumb. <laughs> you see, it's match made in heaven. Y'all figure this shit out. You'd be saving the world. Why is it just black? There should women? be more detectives. Why is it just not women. I, it's not like white men are not getting busted for cheating as well. Have you seen cheaters? It's everybody. It's not just black women. Stop persecuting yeah. us. Mm. Whatever issue How is you that have, persecuting you, you have issues with black women. No, you, I love black women. You love and I'm hate us. I'm obsessed with you. You love and hate us both. No, it is I don't. Weird. You said obsessed. That's both. That is love and hate. Yeah, that's Jesus both. Christ. It I is definitely love it is. It's definitely love and hate. Cause that's both. I don't think if you watch cheaters. But, said, but how are you offended by saying that black women should be good detectives? Because we just said, is it all women? No, it's just black women. What is that about? Why? How do you know? Have you ever cheated on a white one and you not been me, discovered? You want me to see? Uh, you want me to tell you that story? <laughs> sure. I love, I love to hear it. I ain't get caught. I don't that's not a story, I nigga. That I think he's making it up. It's like Tom at the water cooler. It's, it's right. not true. Yeah, I talked to Tom. It's fake news. It. Come on, man. It's fake news, uh, Mr. Kevin. Everybody, everybody from every... That's because black all, women all never believe black men. <laughs> oh, my God. They don't listen to them. <laughs> This is a racist show. That's how it's it, interracial. Dudes be, baby, I'm telling the truth. Whatever, nigga. You don't believe us? See, this is, I, 
You see that? That's that is that is years of some type of, of issue mm-hmm. programming. <laughs> Tosa has been on you for a while though. I get it. Like, <laughs> he, already, he already fucked up. He's trying to control. You know he's trying to overcompensate now because he called Donald Trump president. I don't know. I think that there's always a white, a pink toe hiding under a whole tips of, of of you know. Pink toe, facade. pink toe in the races. Always. I'm just saying, there's always a white woman somewhere. Hey, look, I just well, I'll, with the militant black man. I'll tell you this, because this happened to Zion uh, Williams lately, because he he tried to slide in some girl DM and who is that? Is that one of your hotel? He's brothers? the number one prospect in basketball. Right. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. He's the right the guy <laughs> in terms of basketball. Okay. He's he's not pro yet, but okay, he's, but in, he's in on his school. way. Right. The women have the stats. He's in school, so the groupies he, are. He slid in the DMs, and the girl, the white girl who received the DM, uh, took a picture showing Mm -hmm. everybody, you know, it went viral, Mm -hmm. and uh, people were saying that he shot the wrong shot, but... Because she was white? uh, No, well... I don't. The comments that I read didn't say it was because she was white. It was then because why, why, she was, was just generally unattractive anyway. Oh, that's what opinion, is the point though. of the story? Then? That's opinion, and what does that have to do with the fact that you dated a white girl on probably more than one occasion, probably many occasions? Well, no, it was. I, Isn't I, that ironic? I that went you, to see. I didn't always go to Tennessee. That State. he is the hotep, and you are the one I he calls always, beige, and yet you have never, never dated outside, and yet he is the one that claims he still loves his race. I just find uh, all no, this. No, 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 beautiful white ladies. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I I didn't always go to Tennessee State. You were prior to. I attended a primarily white institute. Okay. Right. And at that school, I of course was on the basketball team. Okay. And so one day, someone at one day I, I went home like after practice, walked across campus, went back to my room, right, put my stuff down, and all of a sudden, maybe two minutes later, I hear. That's a knock for people who couldn't hear that <laughs> right. microphones. Right. And so there was a girl Becky. at my door, Becky. Okay. Becky was at the door, and apparently she had followed me home. And she wanted to know, you know. Know what? Who I was. Who you were? Who you were. One, so this one time. This one time this mm-hmm. happened. So one time you had sex with a white girl. Because, I mean, obviously you had sex with her. Why not, right? Mm. That That day... Or another time. Oh, that day. No, no, so, that day. so that was the only time. This, this, anything like this happen? Uh, <laughs> doesn't look good for you, bro. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I just. Wait, have you had sex with white people more than black people? Have no. you had sex? <laughs> no, no, absolutely not. <laughs> He's saying that like that's like that's that'd be disgusting. I mean, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just. This is my record. I, you know, um, what I about would just Asians? suggest Asians. No. Uh, Arabs. No. Mm. <laughs> I love people say Arab. That is the I mean, most in Northeast Ohio, in the sticks, and out there in the middle of nowhere, in Northeast Ohio. Yeah, quite okay. a few. Uh, it was more white girls and black girls. Jews. That explains. <laughs> just, that does explain the issue with black women. That does explain. What about it? a trend? What, what, what do you mean that explains it? Uh, that it's explains ma'am. It. You ever said one of them? You ever said one of them? It's ma'am. <laughs> Nah. Uh, nah, son. I interviewed Amaya Scott, the trans woman that is on Star. I interviewed her earlier this week for Rolling Out, and she shared with me that, her? Uh, huh? You said her, the trans woman. Yes, yes. She shared with me that is, it, uh, is she a, is she a robot? Her? What are you What are you talking about? Was. I was kind of confused. You said trans woman. I'm that's like, is she a robot? Ca- that's what she's called. She's she calls she's a trans woman <coughs> because she used to be a man and she's um she was born a man but she's really a woman. She's a Decepticon and she, she's really a woman. She's really a woman internally. She was born a man but she's really a woman. Okay. Yep. And uh-huh. she had her her her, her uh, surgery. So dick surgery. Yep. It's and, gone. Decepticon. And so it's gone. Uh, it's gone. Oh, it's damn. gone. There's a vagina. Okay. And so she shared with me that she dates. Gay, bi, and straight men. So because you know she's she's actually a woman. So I mean, it's why? Not, how? How does she date gay guys then? Gay guys don't want that. I don't know. I don't know. I should have asked. I should have probed further. Yeah. But she's. But there are some gay guys that that I guess are okay with that. There are some straight guys that feel comfortable. Um, 
with that. Well, how do you feel about that? I'm sure it, someone will will diddle with whatever you got. Well, I'm saying if she's had the surgery, like say let's let's remove five yeah. years, ten years from this, right? Yeah. So five well, it years has from been, now, been because she got it when she was very young. She got the surgery. Yeah, like at 18. Oh, so she's not had the she's not had a, a a dick for a while. She's had it for a long time. I mean, she has she's had a vagina for many years. So okay, so if you met this person, mm-hmm. ten years removed from the surgery, yes. And you had sex with this person, mm-hmm. and you didn't know that they were trans. Right. The, how Are you straight or gay? I think you're straight. Because you don't know. How do you feel about that? Nah. Now what? How do you, how you feel you about that, about? man? Nah. How could you not what be is, nah. how, how, Because how, how could you have a family with this woman? But my, there are a lot of women that can't have children you, that are... that are. Well, no, hold on. I'm sorry. Those white girls you had sex with, <laughs> were you looking for a family, sir? No. <laughs> this didn't stop. What are you talking about? What? You weren't looking for exactly, a family with yeah. those white women, were you? But now I'm a man. But if you had, it had some no, pretty babies. it doesn't matter. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> but but the point, like he said, it just it doesn't matter if a person babies? have children if they're a woman or not. <laughs> there are women that can't have children that are still women, and that doesn't. That's not the same thing. Come on, no, a woman, a woman that can't. I make think sense. I, I don't know. I think there's a difference between a woman that can't have children and a. Man, it cut off his Absolutely. penis. Absolutely, but you, but you just you didn't say that. You said she can't have children. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm saying is the implicate. Well, what I'm trying to figure out is yes, there is a difference between a woman that can have a baby and a woman that used, used to, be, to a man. be a man. Right. To me, there's a difference in that. I agree. I don't feel like that's fair to women to call Amaya Scott. <laughs> A woman. I don't think that's fair. I well, agree. She's a trans woman. Nah, nah, I, nah. I, I agree. I don't think the woman should ever be there. Nah, they don't say. Well, I in disagree. public, they say her. No, she. And that she's, puts she, all y'all she's, together. She. But what do they straighten say? me out? What's her pronoun? Her and and woman. No. She 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 calls her. I I was not trying to be offended because I called her transgender and she said she was a trans woman. She's a woman and if there's oh. nothing a straight. I. It's a. I think that's very, part of what like is weird to straight people. Is that first of all, I can't remember all like it's yeah. too confusing. Yeah, I don't I don't know who, what to it's, call. I didn't I didn't It's not, not confusing know. at all. No, boy it's, and girl is not it's confusing. It's not confusing at all. We have science that backs up what the chromosomes mean and how we define those. The rest of the stuff is all No, it's not chromosomes. It's the six foot seven <laughs> <laughs> wig wearing man with makeup that's confusing. Oh, I see what you're saying. The broad shoulders <laughs> and the spaghetti straps well, is what is have confusing. Broad, they, they don't. They all don't have. They don't because some of them shoulders. are very small. There are some men that I think are so small they could double as women. I don't care though. The science there is science that actually. So it's not like I, I hear a lot of them say things like "there's no discussion." It's not debatable, but it is debatable because yeah. it's actually you're right. It's not debatable. You're not a woman. Well, I think, but but I think everybody. I don't. Hey, has a right to. to you know, no, define you themselves. A, you, you can't define. There's cer- there's certain hey. things that you have to define. So what is different now? I mean, she has all the parts that, except for the uterus and womb, that I have. Was different between her and you mm-hmm. that she's actually by I was chromosome born a woman. No, even still, right now, if she were to do DNA testing, right, it would show male. Even and then furthermore, like imagine how confusing that would be in your family history, right? If if one of your ancestors mm-hmm. was transgender, then you have to you're trying to trace your lineage and you have to remember, oh, someone's Gr- birth sex. Grandmama Pete was, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. I don't know that I mean I don't I don't know if I care Aunt about Tom that. Tom was Aunt Tom. See, that's that's the thing. I don't really honestly I don't, I don't care. care Maya Scott, more power to her. Yeah. To her, him, whatever her. it is. Yeah. More power. However, I just, you know, at the end of the day, it is definitely debatable because that is not well, all I, the way to reality. I, what I did appreciate I'm sorry, about our conversation <laughs> is that she said that she does tell people, she does tell men when she when she meets them. Um, she does feel like she has a responsibility to tell them. She said, I'm not going to tell a guy when I first, you know, start right. dancing with him or first meet him right. or he buys me a drink. But I think before it got to a physical, intimate place, she would reveal that information. So my, and a lot of times it does not matter. My question was, if mm-hmm. you don't know and you're never told, then no, I, I don't think are that, you gay? No. Okay. If you are not. told and you still go for it, are you gay? I I would not sleep with a man that had that had the understanding and still wanted to have sex because I would feel like you even if he wasn't gay, he you mean, was You mean after else. he had sex with right, this person? Right, 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 right. He, he was, was, okay. Yeah, I would think that maybe he's not gay, but maybe he's fluid what? or something. It, I don't but know. It, every, everything, other looks, names. everything looks and works I know, like... I know, but okay. I just think that maybe he's in a different market. So if you never knew 
is that gay? If you never found out, you weren't told, is that does that make you gay? No, I think because it's whatever. If you weren't told, right. then it's you, whatever you thought it was. Okay, but what if you? Okay, so then because like your perception is reality, right. right? And that's what she said the right. same thing. But what about what if you were told? But if you found out later, like they do on Jerry Springer, that mm-hmm. oh, this is actually yeah. a man, and you still that, continue. Well, I think if you continue, if you continue, then I guess you just going with you know whatever it is, but. People, how someone defines... Does that mean... This, so what, So, are you saying that that means you're gay or not? If you continue. What, if you find out later? If you continue. You find out later, you continue. Well, well that's, what, that's what I think people struggle with because I think that some people think, oh, I liked it and, or maybe I came, right. right? And so I must like it. Does that mean that yeah, I'm gay? I do, I do think that that would make people confused. Like that, my, the friend of mine that, we, that I talked about that had went out on a date and had conversation. He didn't have anything sexual, but he had conversation with a trans woman and he enjoyed the conversation. He doesn't enjoy conversation with most women, as you guys have made clear. That's not something that men just enjoy doing. So he enjoyed talking to her and uh, wanted to go out with her. That was a shot, by the way. She it snuck was. it in there. No, but you guys have told me that men don't shot. enjoy talking to women just for Proceed. conversation. So, um, so <laughs> he enjoyed. He said, "I don't, you know, I don't usually just in, talk to a girl like we had a connection." And it, it it made him afraid that maybe there was something in him that that um that 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 was gay. He also later came back and said that he had been approached again. Um, by a, a, a transgender. Uh, he's getting off sense. You got to keep in mind that <laughs> sexuality is partly how we define ourselves. It's part of our yeah, identity. It's a big part of how we define ourselves. Yeah, like if 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 you're not gay and someone says you are or, you know, thought you were, then you'd, oh, how could you think maybe I'm, you know what I mean? You, you start kind of questioning that how children, you present yourself. that are molested deal with because, you know, I don't want to go into... Cases that we know that are, are huge and looming, but um, some there have been people that have said that people, the children that are molested, a lot of times have trouble questioning their own sexuality or maybe overcompensating for something that happened to them. If boys are molested when they're young, they fight with, they have an internal fight of, you know, was I gay before this happened or did this cause me to be gay or am I gay? You know, and, and, and then there are women that, I, I told you, I think I've been honest, I had a guy that wanted to date me that had been molested from like up until he was a teenager and I didn't feel really comfortable because I was afraid that maybe he, you know, I don't know and that might have been ignorant of me and I apologize, mm-hmm. but you just don't know. You just don't know. I can't fault you for, for learning the, for having the experience or. Well, you know. I, I might have made a decision that might have hurt him internally and I, you know. that, If that's what hurt him uh, After all the Everybody other gets stuff. rejection In dating That's why I'm like That's fair eh, it was Whatever Straw the bro With the camels But now come on all Right yeah, yeah but I mean I, just, I wouldn't want to be You know Responsible for that But I just think it's, it's, It is a very but Strange thing I think women are More for In the mainstream For whatever reason Women are more allowed To have That experience Like since Santana From Love and Hip Hop mm-hmm. Um she used to date Erica Mina, mm-hmm. right? But now she's married with, or or, or is marrying Joe Budden, mm-hmm. and, ha- and, and they have a child and together. Erica Mina is marrying right? Safari, but yeah. she came out earlier and said that she was uh, molested as a child mm-hmm. by a woman, mm-hmm. and so early on, that sex for her was defined as with a woman, mm-hmm. and you know she having dated Erica Mina, so clearly she was like, all right, you know, mm-hmm. this is part of who I am or you know I'm expressing this side of myself but I guess ultimately she was like yo I can't do women, women do that right I'd be like oh, I, I think, can't I, I can't marry women, no girl I think women can go back and forth without a problem and that's and that's unfair in society I, I unfair we're, we're good we're okay <laughs> on that one thanks we're good mm. <laughs> I think it is unfair though because there was a, there was a question in a, a singles group I'm in and the question was if I, I this lady was talking to a guy that had been that admitted that he had he had received oral sex from a man in college one time, and she was asking, did people think it was that she was stupid for dating him? And a large majority of the women did say they would never date a man that had gone through that experience. I don't think any woman would, and that's what's ridiculous. There, no, you there guys were are some that said they would, but they were bisexual. Homophobic. They were bisexual. The women were. Yeah, the okay. women that said they would date him were homo or bisexual. Yeah, no, Antoine Dodson have a, a a wife and a child now. What does that mean? 
I don't know. Is that the hide your kids, hide your wife? Yeah, hide your kids, hide your wife. Is he gay? He was very gay. He said that he He was. At the time. Yeah, Yeah, he said that he was. I guess now he's delivered. Well, the delivered guy, Andrew Caldwell... He is he is not delivered. He's that is that is foolishness. But that y'all yeah, wouldn't allow Idris Elba to go through something like that. Though. What? What do you mean? What are you talking about? Don't say that. What are you That's, talking about? We're not, we're strike, exactly. You wouldn't about allow strike like that Idris, sucked if Idris Elba. Records. If Idris Elba strike were to it. say that he had been touched as he a child said, by that's a man, not happening. That did not happen. And He's a human what? being. Did he, he suck is, a dick in college? He did not. Man, he he probably, did not. Mm. No, he didn't. Come on, he's an actor. No, he didn't. That's that funny business. He did not. Oh, my God. No, he didn't. I'm not saying like, Why did, did you go but... like total white girl on me? Like, <laughs> oh, my I want, God. I want you to strike <laughs> oh that God, from the right. In fact, we're going to, you're not even going to, So name all the guys that. that could have never sucked a dick. Oh, there are plenty. Oh, there are come plenty on. that were so, that, that no, never, you, think, you think none of them are those people? You think, you think Morris no. Chestnut ever had Absolutely an experience? Absolutely not. Huh? You know what? We're not. I'm not going to do this. You guys huh? are not going to. You're what not. What the, you're not going to do is about, disrespect uh, our beautiful in the black locker man. room. You're not going to disrespect Ricky? our beautiful black man. My wife is in love with the um, um, what's her name's husband. Um, Why would you Lisa, have to say Lisa husband? Bonet? I am as well. You think he I never? I am as well. He think is he, amazing. Jason Momoa. Yeah, um, you think he never? I don't believe he's some balls very or something? Ma- he's very masculine. He's yeah, extremely masculine. But there, come he's on. a beautiful man. I'm just saying. You know you but he was a child. He was that. a child before that was. Oh, no, I was talking about in college. Twenty years ago, you guys are not. I was talking about this. in college. No, not in college. Some of those guys have no, sucked a dick. Very man- no, he, no, he some, hasn't. Some of those guys. Some We're just trying to illustrate the point that men are not allowed to have those experiences and then go on to be normal people. Men that you're talking about. I've not done that. One of those Maybe guys. Maybe you has. all have. Okay. I don't, I don't know what Maybe they've done. They may not want to share their story, Maybe and I understand you have. why they would. Maybe Kevin doesn't want to share his story. Maybe Kevin doesn't want to share his story, and that's okay. I'm not saying he always didn't want to share the white girl story. I don't want to share my story. <laughs> it's okay. You don't have to. It hurts. You don't have one to. One of those men. One not, of the, one, not, I'm not saying it was not the Memorial guy or it was Idris Elba or specifically Morris or Morris, none, none but of them. one of those guys that you think none is that them. guy. One of them. You see, she fights it vehemently. Yes, I do. If and you I were will to continue. find out that one of those I three, I do not even. That is so far. If just for, this, if you were to find out, no, that's not even. That's just one of them. It's one, not if, 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 three if of them. He, I can't even possibly if, imagine if, that. If you and I, or excuse me, if you and he became close, mm-hmm. and he confided <laughs> in you. I, that's and not he even confided possible. in you. It's Would that possible. change how you see it's him? It's not possible. Again, it's not possible. It's not possible. No, thank you. Mm-hmm. Um, this isn't even a did, real conversation anymore. You I'm don't, not willing to accept you, you it. You don't want the real Idris. <laughs> I <right>. did. <laughs> that's... That's slander, and I just want it's you to know slander. that you could be you. We could be you could be sued. It's not okay, specifically I'm not taking, him. You could be sued for slander because when you say something like that, you're you're slandering that man's name, and, and I, I don't want any parts of that. I am not slandering that man's That's slander. name. It's it's That's hurtful slander. to you it to is, even think it is very to even is, think that he may have been a human being. It's very hateful of you to even how is so homophobic. <sighs> I'm not. You mm-hmm. are. No, I'm not. What's wrong with he, him sucking a dick? It's not that he's not. That is not what he What's does. What's wrong with him sucking a dick? The point is, so I was with another trans <laughs> woman, transgender, <laughs> and it ruins a fantasy. There was a very good looking. You hang out guy. with a lot of trans women? No, okay. I just I interviewed two. So there was a guy. I think I told you guys about this. She still. She has not had the surgery. So I don't know. She must. I'm not sure what to call her, but she's not. She's trans. I don't know if it's gender, woman, or what. Damn. But she still has a banana um, vagina. So, uh, one of the guys. <laughs> See how we make up these. You know, right. I'm fake news. We, uh, why do we make up these t- terms? Banana in this vagina. Society? That's, that's what like, she called it. That's what she called it. I'm just or being also known as a dick. A banana pussy. No, that's a what she dick. said. That's what she called it. And I just, I just be respectful to what people call their own genitalia. <sighs> but there was a guy that was there with her. Imagine that birds and the bees conversation. I don't. Want what to. you have is a banana vagina, baby. <laughs> like what? <laughs> But one of the guys that was with her, that was one of the guys she's dated, asked me, slid in my DMs and asked me out. I was shocked. Why? Because I just didn't think that. I thought that he preferred. You want to look at your banana? Bana- I don't have a banana. You got a banana split. I do not have a banana anything. Oh. So <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think he would be interested in, in me at all. You know, they actually do split it in half when they make the vagina. I'm aware. So I wonder if, if she he going to call it a banana split when it's done. <laughs> With mm. some cherries. See? They actually, it goes inward. It's split and they... And they put it inward, It's yeah. like a, it becomes a canal, yeah. That sounds painful as fuck. It probably is, but maybe they maybe they really... I mean, I, if in order for someone to do that, they have to really believe that that... I mean, they have to feel convicted that that is who they are, so, you know. Okay, so I'm sorry, your story. 
That was it. I I just I did not. And he 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 was he found that offensive that I wouldn't that I I didn't. Yeah, it is offensive. Who do you think you are? He's trying to get you some attention, <laughs> and he, look at you dissing him. I didn't diss him. He I just didn't think with, that he with, would want to go out with me. Yeah, sex with this person. Yeah. So he he knows that you know that he had sex yes. with this person, and it's so like, hey, yes. maybe the three of us could get together one oh, time. And I, I mean, I I don't know. You wouldn't want to train on the dude. <laughs> Uh, a devil's threesome You say you want Is that what that is, is Two, that two what guys that and a girl Is a devil's threesome Oh my god yeah. I've never heard that You said before. you want two dudes I did not say you that did. She said just last, I did not. She said, I said she wanted I said, Two husbands I said that two women husbands. Should be yeah. allowed uh-huh. To have two husbands What if one of your husbands is, have two wives? is a Almost is like a, a wife or husband That wouldn't be the case <laughs> That would not be the case mm-hmm. So you would run a train On a tranny First of all Women do not I did hear that gay people Are like massive whores Wow <laughs> you can't get pregnant. If you can't get pregnant, how much would you do it? Okay. Oh my god! So you're saying that the the gay culture is very promiscuous? Are you saying ors? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to hear him say it again. It's funny to me. Go ahead. <laughs> What's the difference between promiscuous and whores? I don't. In, I don't know. Uh, I just love it when I'm not the only. Right, right. I'm not the only one that says, says outlandish, color, yeah. offensive things. Say it again, Kevin. Oh, that, Mister Kevin. Please, whores. Say it again. <laughs> yeah, the whores. Game, say it again. The whole thing, though, like all of it together. <laughs> Run the it sound again. bite. Run it. Give us the sound <laughs> bite again. <laughs> I heard gay people are massive whores. <laughs> oh my god. I heard that's the funny thing he said. <laughs> he said I heard. Oh my what? god! <sighs> hide your hide your gay people. Hide your black women. No one is oh safe god. on this. No show. No gay people or black women are safe on this show. <laughs> or Mr. Mexican. Yeah, they are. Look, look. Or you're, you're free women. to be. No, no, no. I'm not going to stand by and condone that language. But you're, you're, you're know, free to be a human you just being. Called gay people whores. You're free to be a hu- a whore. You're a human being. But they're not. They're, no, you're a human being whom deserves respect. No, nah, they do be fucking right? way more than you everybody else. You deserve to be but, but safe. Saying, Absolutely. But I'm just saying for The right, pursuit of happiness and liberty. This is bullshit. No, no, no. I've you heard deserve this to, to <laughs> shop. I would just wanted him to say it explicitly so that I could then <laughs> partner with him on this. Yes. I've heard much the same. It's just fuck anybody. Anytime, any, oh any my whatever. Oh, my God. I really You're hope. You're still a human you. being whether you have an any or an Audi. Okay? So but, you, you haven't heard this? That casual sex is more prevalent in homosexual culture? I have heard that. Okay. So he just said it in an ignorant way. I have heard that men are more promiscuous than women. I've heard that too. So I would assume if there was some culture that excluded women, it could get a bit... I don't know. It seems like gay women be having a lot of sex. Really? Where do you get this? It from, seems Kevin? like it. Are you hanging out with gay women? Because you have so much information on women. You have so much intel I have, on women. I, actually, I have dated. I have <laughs> I dated put like some, a little trigger thing on the video. I've right? dated Every some time women Crystal who, gets who date girls. Yes, okay. I have. Okay, and how was that? You have dated gay girls. I've dated. I've dated some women who dated <laughs> that girls. Were bisexual. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. I thought you said dated some gay girls. Bisexual. They'd be like, I know I ain't gonna marry no girl. You know, I'm just. But that doesn't mean that all of them feel that way. Maybe it's just the ones. Some that came do. They like penis too. Yeah, they're bisexual. That's a, mm. that's a term. But I mean, some gay women also still like getting fucked, but like strap on. That doesn't make any sense to me. But hey, you know, do what you do. And penetration is awesome. Just get a dick. Just have a dick. Hey, there's so much more that comes have with that. Have a dick and a smile. That sometimes I'm sure people that there's an aversion. To a lot more women be happy if they just had a dick and a smile. Are we done yet? <laughs> We're close. Yeah. <laughs> We're very, very close. I just appreciate the fact is that, that Ke- offensive. Kevin is stepping up to the the. He is. He's joining you. It's not. No, just he you didn't join me. That's his own. He made his own statement. He sat in it too. I let him sit in it for a while. <laughs> I didn't did. partner with him immediately. You tried to let. Him, you tried to let him. You tried to give it out almost like. I just want to see was he re- was he really willing? Your eyes lit up with glee. I just want to know was he really willing to say that shit? Say that shit. That's what I'm talking about. What? Talk hey, that hey shit. man, he said I'm, what he said. These are the facts. I just oh, I don't know like, anything oh, else. I see. I didn't say Whoa, that. I don't know. About, I just, oh, he's more rugged than me. I don't know about facts. It's the uh, lumberjack shirt. It's the yeah, lumberjack yeah, yeah. shirt. I don't know about the facts. Now I was just talking shit. I don't know that. Oh my god. That all gay people are whores. It. <laughs> Oh, it, does, it, does it seem Does it seem uh, well, Like if Why be gay and approved Oh my goodness Can, can you be why a gay virgin need, Have you gone through Can you be um, a gay virgin HR uh, Any type of workshop Or counseling I don't believe you can be A or, gay virgin That's why I don't believe Kids can be gay 
I just, I mean, if you're in middle school talking about your gay, job, some type of, you know, kid. honestly, mm-hmm. middle middle school kids like fifth, sixth grade, maybe right, they're right, saying right. they're gay and they've never. Well, I do think because I think that there are boys that are just very effeminate. That's not gay though, right? It is. I think that yeah. is a sign that they're. You can be a dude that's just kind of feminine, but you still, especially as a attracted, little boy, you spend a lot of time up under your mama. If they're not attracted huh? to women, they're attracted. So that's to what. Men. So if you're attracted to men, you're gay. Yeah. Okay, but my it, uncle it, told me that 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 came out. That he was when he was younger, he he was attracted to to boys. What if you're not boys. attracted to men, but you're like fucking them? I think there has to be some level of attraction when you are interested in, in having sex. Oh, yeah. but in, you even before you have sex, though, you're already gay. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, I think so. Because I, I, I knew I I didn't have sex for a long time, but I I knew that I really like boys, and I I really wanted to to. Uh, experienced that. <laughs> you really to say it. You really wanted to fuck them. No, I no. I just I just knew that that's that I wanted to have that experience. I was excited about it. I don't know. I think that if, if didn't you? When did you start to ha- you know when you because boys would be in class and then they would see a girl with a skirt on and the next thing you know they would have like a little. When did boner. I want to fuck them? Uh, man, you know, times were different back then. No, it wasn't. It was yeah. first grade. No, first, first grade. grade. First grade. No. Was that your first crush? First Fucking grade. What was your first crush? I had a in girlfriend in first grade, but that I was silly. I had a boyfriend, silly. but we didn't, uh, but we didn't so work. So you ain't, you ain't try to kiss there her behind no the... sexual attraction you ain't at that try to, you ain't, In first grade, this. you ain't try to kiss her behind the school or some shit? No, I didn't kiss until like fifth grade. I think I may have exposed myself to a kindergartner. I mean, I was in kindergarten too. But it's just because but at that age, it's just, I have something different. Because right, I remember my, my, my little brother, <laughs> I was like, oh, I remember telling him to jump up and down because I just thought it was weird that he had something different. Oh, like, I get what you're saying. Yeah, I, I was just saying. like, whoa, that's weird. Like, you right. know, it's not sexual attraction. It's just like you're a kid. You like, told him to jump up and down? <laughs> yeah, because I didn't I didn't understand why his looked what's different. That what? you, what's that called when you slap it against your thighs? <laughs> Twist There's a name for that. But he would come out and I'd be like, look, Chris. And, and he, he would, would just, just jump up and down. And I was like, wow. That, that's I just neat. Thought it was just, Can I yeah. touch it? I didn't touch it, but okay. I was just like, wow, that's different. But uh, but I don't know that... that... But that's not sexual attraction. What? You wanted to fuck a girl in the first grade? I was a first grader. What? But Wait, you had sex in the first grade? No, I didn't have sex in the first grade. But you wanted to have sex That in was first. the first time I that saw... That you noticed a girl? I, yeah. Nah, that's not what I'm talking about. When, yeah. did you, when did you say, I need to fuck that? Oh, my goodness. I couldn't say I couldn't say I wanted to fuck that in the first grade. No, but you know, I knew now I that li- grown. it was a little brown girl. I liked her, and my ding ding got hard. Fifth grade was the first time I kissed a girl that I, that mattered. Like when I did probably you start having uh, boners because that's uh, when I think guys are. Oh regular. yeah, but you don't know what they are. You then. have boners. Oh, okay. you, Early. You, wait, Nine, you had ten. a you have a son. Yeah, she doesn't just, believe anything. Anything he, sexual you about you didn't change his diaper and it was a sundial waiting that's on not you. Not the same. I'm not no, talking about that. Though. I'm just, when it started meaning something. Yeah, I didn't know. I mean, we, I I remember I being like, "Whoa, is he looking at something?" I would say nine right or now? ten, probably somewhere in there. Yeah. But it was still, it was still like can't control it. It wasn't about sex at that <laughs> okay. time. It was just like, "Oh my god, this is a weird thing." Okay, like, okay. why is this thing always hard in, okay. in the middle of class? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's mm-hmm. not. But when we I'm, used to make fun of it, like, what is wrong with him? I, I, I just to point out. We would just. I was embarrassed. I didn't want to get up. Yeah. yeah, but I'm saying, when did you? Then when did you say <laughs> I want to fuck that? What age was that? What grade? There was definitely a grade, and it wasn't first. By the time no. I was saying, like, I was like, I was consciously like sex. Right. I, I I'm saying seventh or eighth grade. Yeah, I think that yeah. I think that makes sense. Yeah, I, that's think, legit. I think around eighth grade, grade that's legit. I knew when I kissed a boy, I felt well, I didn't really kiss, but I felt like a warm feeling, like uh-oh. Right. Oh. <laughs> Something's different. Things <laughs> I think, yeah, I think when I was little, I couldn't I couldn't articulate it. Like I didn't know what it was. I was well, I don't just, think it's there in first grade. But that's grade. what I'm saying. So not, if you're in not, fifth grade, not unless you have unless No, I was it was clearly something. first grade. I remember this. It was clearly first grade and I liked her. Liked her. I, I knew like I had Johnny too though. I don't know. I felt I felt like I had an urge. And they're to no, do what? I don't believe that. You don't even know what to I do. I didn't know. I know there are people who have sex when they're very young. But that's I, because but they've, been, they've seen something yeah, that they right. should not have seen. Unless I'm saying seventh at, or eighth grade. Yeah, I agree. I agree. But okay, so then if you have puberty, we can start going through puberty. So it's like that says that they're gay in fifth grade, though. They haven't had those feelings yet. So that's bullshit. I, I, think, I think that's that, bullshit. I think that no, because I've heard mothers say that their their sons would like prance and, around and shit. Yeah, they get like, the fuck out of here. They don't. They haven't. They've never even <laughs> thought of the idea of what they want to be in sex. Like, is, they don't know what sexuality is. They don't know who they are in sex. But you mean to tell me that they haven't seen um, they they even cartoons or playing with dolls. Right? Isn't that the the classic? That's just you're just reenacting something that you've seen. You're not yeah. doing little it because, boys playing with dolls. Yeah, 
You just my brother played with dogs. So I told him to because we were. I mean, he was a kid, but he. You went, never made the bar. You never made your sister's Barbies fuck. Jesus. Of course. Yeah, but then but you're playing I, with dolls. That don't mean you're gay. I don't know because even though I didn't know why, I remember watching Miami Vice, uh-huh. and I remember thinking that Philip Michael Thomas was. I wanted him to be my husband. I thought that in fifth grade. It was he a, most definitely probably sucked a dick. Most definitely probably. Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, he did. Absolutely Miami? Not. He was wearing pastel. I, that's just, fuck. it was a style. It was nah, very bro. stylish. Everybody wears pastel in he Miami. He was very uh-huh. stylish. No, they don't. But the point is, I remember not thinking, over I remember, I never felt like that about a woman. So I didn't know, I didn't know what sex, you know, how sex took place. But I did know that I did feel something very special for Philip Michael Thomas. I don't believe it. I did. I don't believe I'm it. being honest. I wrote a letter. My mom got very upset about it. To him? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. It was sexual? No, but I really, I was like, I loved him and I wanted to be my husband. How old, was, how old were you? I was in fifth grade. Okay, so maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you do know in fifth grade. Hell yeah, she was doing uh, the parent, the parental, uh, I can't take it. I ain't ready for this. I was watching, but it was, you know, when you read it, I think you do, you have crushes. You, you take cold baths cr- right after crush? that. No, I mean, I wasn't sexual, but it just, I had a crush on him. Yeah, I'm wrong, because we used to do stuff like uh, seven minutes in the closet type stuff. You ever do that? <laughs> oh, no. Hide and go get it. You never played that? Like no. seven minutes? No, I didn't. Whatever. Spin the bottle? I had to be like third or fourth You never played Spin the Bottle? I didn't, I didn't play any of that. What? Were you even allowed to come outside? <laughs> right. <laughs> Probably not. That's why she <laughs> was not <laughs> the after party. That's why she had to look at her brother's dick. There's no, <laughs> right. other dicks, no other dicks to look at. That's not. <laughs> no, that's no, that's brother not jump, why would you no, tell no, him to jump, jump up and down? That was when I was like, that was not like four. That's sexual abuse. That was when I was like, no, four. That's, no. that's sexual abuse. No, that's weird. <laughs> that's weird. That's weird. That was when I was like four. Uh-uh, weirdo. And then, it's not. You remember it? You, you shared that on the podcast? <laughs> Jesus that's Christ. Not, that's Where not. are your boundaries? Like, really? share, and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Music Club Life